I have five rolls of half dollars that I was able to get from a credit union and I am opening them right now for the first time to see what we have. Of course, the kind of things I look for that you probably look for also are half dollars that have 40% silver or half dollars that have 90% silver. Now, sometimes if they have silver plus they're in great shape or they have a, a low run in terms of how many were made, we're looking at collectability. I know you have some half dollars that were minted in San Francisco and they're proof coins. And so regardless of the year, they're going to have some value. And then there's some that just because of the year, they're going to have a value if there were not a lot of them that were actually made. So in this first row, and I can't tell you by memory which ones might have rarity and which ones uh, won't by each year. However, I will look up some of them, but 71 is a pretty common one. Um, the other thing you look for, uh, now this one doesn't have a mint mark, but there are some that didn't have a mint mark, and when the mint mark's not there, it's Philadelphia. In some instances, it's a, it's an error, so you look for that too. Uh, another thing to do is to look at the edge. If you see copper right away uh, mixed in, you know then that this is not uh, is not all silver. Now, so we put the 71 over here. I'm going to actually spend these or actually recirculate them uh, or I may re-roll them. Okay, this one is 19. 1990, what, what is that? 1991. Okay, so let that go. 1984 and 1977. 1972, it seems. Okay, 1986. And so far, I don't see any that are super buffed or, or look extra special. This one, I'm not sure the mintage, uh, the mint mark. I think that's a P. And let me see here. Yeah, that's a P. I just don't want to not to ignore any that might be S mint in the San Francisco. This one, 1974, and this one, what do we have here, 1979, and those of you who are looking at this and really know your dates by heart without looking them up, they'll say, wait a minute, Rosie, um, they only did a certain number of that year, so you might want to put that up on, on eBay or something. This is 1991. 1994. Okay. Now, this one looks really good in terms of condition you see the very very um, clear uh, picture of, of, of the hairline this is 1991 now I'm going to bring it closer to see what the mid mark is that's in Philadelphia and Another thing I'm not doing, which I should do, is turn it over because sometimes if you find, you can find errors 
on them. And again, I'll have to look again to look at that. But see, if this was actually in reverse, uh, this is called the obverse and this is called the reverse. So if this was facing the same side, then that might be considered an error, but it's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, let's move through this quickly. 1971. And again, look in the, in the back. And when dealing with error coins, and that's another whole thing, you, you have to look really close. And, and I'm not looking close. This is 1994. I'm pulling this one out, the one that I said looked really pretty. Because I might put that up online. Sometimes people have a collection and they're looking for nice looking pieces to keep in their collection. 1974. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. 1972. So I should go through this a little faster, right? Uh, this is 1994. Five, but I want to check and make sure that is not an S mint mark. No, that's D. D is for Denver. And this one's 1985. You know, once I found a uh, Booker T couple of Booker T. Washington's in a roll of half dollars. That was special. I only had it one time. This one looks pretty nice and shiny. What year is it? It's 1971. There is a mint mark here. And the mint mark is D. Minted in Denver. This other one's pretty. Okay. Again, know that for each mint, a certain number were made for each year in Denver and San Francisco and Philadelphia. And sometimes you may have one, uh, like maybe less were made in Denver for that year than they were they were done for Philadelphia. Okay, something fell out here. Ah, this is the bicentennial one, okay. It's funny, the first time I saw this, I thought, wow, I have a coin from 1776. <laughs> but that was not the case. Ah, it's bicentennial. Ah, let's see what's in here. This is 1973. So far, I don't have any silver ones. You know, these half dollars make good gifts, too. Sometimes you can give one to someone that was actually born that year. This is 1998. Looks really nice. Look at that clear parting. And here I'm going to check. It looks like, oh yeah, that's a P. Vintage P. But it's in nice shape. I'm going to put this one aside and examine it further. And I might put that up on eBay. Or Etsy. You can also put your coins up on Etsy. Which is pretty cool. This is 1980. And P. Again, it doesn't look too bad. But I'll put it aside. This one is... Now, sometimes what I'll do is take the whole wrapper off and just look on the edges and right away. I'll start getting excited because I said, oh, there's a silver one in here. And the silver just stands out. I mean, it's so... 
you know. So see if you just did it this way. So far we know that hmm, doesn't seem to be any any silver. I'm not sure about this one. No, nope, there's some copper, but let's just go through this one real quick. 1970, 1972, uh, 71, 1970, 95. Now, I know that there's no silver here, but I'm kind of looking just now to see if I might find one minted in San Francisco. And this one is 1984, minted in seems to be Denver. This one, 1971. 1971 minted in Denver and this one is 1972 pretty common you wonder if someone cherry picks these before they get rolled at the bank I don't know I probably told too many bank tellers what to look for I always suggest to bank tellers that they get a book well, not every bank teller, but a lot of bank tellers. I said, listen, you're around the money all the time. You need to get a book on paper dollars. And you need to get a book on coins. You need to have this. And just for your own knowledge, I was thinking about getting a job as a bank teller. Just so that I can be around the coins and the paper dollars so I can study them and I can I can learn and get excited then I realized I probably would get fired it wouldn't be long before they fire me because I'm too busy playing with the money looking for star notes looking for coins okay let's do this the roll check here. I messed that up right away.